Did Joe Burrow tamp down the rumors he doesn't want to play for the Bengals with what he had to say at the outset of the combine, DJ? I, I would say he did not throw gasoline on the fire, but he, he didn't necessarily bring a water hose either. Um, I would say with somewhere in between. I, I think there's still a little bit of a flicker of a flame, um, but it's not. It didn't. We he accomplished the goal. I would imagine that they had, which was to not leave the combine. Is that being a big storyline? So why didn't he put it completely out based on what he had to say? So many fans think that he did. Uh, I, I'm hearing the same thing that you are saying right now. So can you put some voice on on why somebody would sit here? As you know, Bengals fans are very very sensitive about the subject yeah and trust me and we work with several of them uh the uh look if he would have came out and said i i look i grew up in ohio i want to i to have the opportunity to be the first overall pick and to play for the cincinnati Bengals. i mean that's my goal that's a dream come true i want to be a Bengal. that's different than saying you know what whoever picks me picks me you know that's uh that's not an enthusiastic endorsement of of, uh, of really wanting to be the number one pick by this particular team, but um, you know it doesn't it doesn't change the fact that I still think that that's what ends up happening um, that he's going to be the first overall pick with the Bengals and and uh, unlike some people I know some people you know think there's nothing to work with there I think they actually have a uh, a decent core especially when you get Jonah Williams your first round pick from last year coming back healthy and. Um, you know, Duke Tobin has said that they will be, you know, I don't know if it was the word was it wasn't aggressive, maybe active in free agency. So we'll, we'll see what they do here in a couple of weeks to, to try and build up that roster to support Joe Burrow. So uh, and you you were very full throated in this during our broadcast that uh, all things being equal to a, as healthy as Burrow, um, that you'd still take Burrow. Correct. I still. Yeah, I would. And, and to me, I, I think that People look at Burrow and say, okay, it's just one year. Well, to me, when you look at a college career, especially when you're on teams as talented as Alabama and LSU, it comes down to how many quality opponents you've played against and how you played in those quality opponent games and then how you've performed under pressure. The rest of it you can throw out because you're just so much better than everybody else you're going to play against. And Burrow played against more top 10 teams in his, in his career, which surprises people, than Tua did. He played in more big games than Tua did, and he performed much better in those big games than Tua did. And then when you put together the pressure reel and watch him under pressure, you look at what Joe Burrow did this year, it was, it was far better. So I, I say all that, and I, I love Tua. I think Tua is going to be a fantastic pro. And I, I would, to me, I, I think it's, it's a no-brainer if you feel comfortable with the hip. He's a top-five pick. And I would I would do whatever I could to get to three if I were you know the Dolphins or the, or the Chargers sitting there at five and six to try and beat the other guy out to get him. I think he's going to be a great pro. But when I put them side to side and you watch Joe Burrow's best versus Tua's best, I I take Joe Burrow every time.